Good day everyone, thank you for coming to the channel. Today I would like to showcase my passion dream sorceress. So dream again is another really versatile item that I've been mentioning and here um, you can mix it with another room word passion which gives you berserk and zeal abilities. So as a sorceress now I can berserk and zeal which makes me a melee character along with dreams holy shock effects so it's you know really fun build again and it's very versatile and very powerful so without any delay let me showcase my items talents and the whole shebang so for my weapon i'm using passion out of a phase blade and that's because phase blade is like the fastest base and also like it has no like durability so you never have to repair and I rolled this myself. It's not a perfect roll, but you know, attack rating was on the higher end as well as the enhanced damage. So I just kind of stopped here for now. And for my armor, I'm using uh, Chains of Honor. And yeah, for this, there really isn't anything else. I mean, I can put on Enigma, but you know, compared to what Chains of Honor provides, especially with all resist. Like, yeah, this one is fine. And being a sorceress, I could just put one point into teleport. And for my helm, I'm using Dream. And this one, uh, yeah, this was self roll too. Yeah, just Dream is very difficult room word to roll. It's not pleasing. Just the variance is just so huge. I mean, you're like, oh, oh, this one's good. Oh, this one's good. It's like, oh, shit. Like, this one sucks. <laughs> and like, you know, you have to kind of try again. And then for my Emmy, I'm using a High Lord. And that's because I need the increased attack speed as well as you know deadly strike. That really helps a lot. And then Dream here. I made it out of Troll's Nest. And yeah, you know, it is what it is. Just, you know, I kept the best I thought. Or, you know, when I just said, you know, enough is enough. I'm not going to roll anymore. <laughs> and for my boot, I'm using Track 1515. And belt, I'm using a dungo and dual leech ring. And this 5% bonus to attack rating, it's percentage. So it's, I thought it was pretty nice because, you know, it's a percentage that you get. So, you know, if you see, I get like, I don't know, like 150 out of this or having this or not having this. But anyways, uh, it gives me the dual leech. And here I'm using raven and laying a hands. So I believe, uh, yeah, you know, let me check my uh, speed on this. It's been a while since uh, I had checked this character out. So let's check it together. Phase blade, right? So here, okay. And you have what? 25 base? Yeah, 25 base. 20, 20. Okay. 25 here, and 2020 20 makes it 40, and I'm zealing. Yeah, so I guess I'm at the fastest frame. 677 seven, further is useless. Okay, so that's the speed that I'm working with. And I'm off, I'm using a 663 CTA with bow spirit. And for the stats, like I put enough to strength. For obviously spirit and then I put enough for 75 block so as you see you see a lot it's almost like PvP like you know and I guess you could stop at 50 and you know put maybe something else but I chose to go all the way 75 and then I put nothing into vit and rest into energy because she has energy shield so for my talents, uh, so first like cold, just one point here, you know, just any armor, doesn't matter. And for my lightning, yeah, static field, one point wonder, I think definitely gotta have it. And then I maxed out lightning mastery, and that will improve my holy shock damage. And that's also why, I forgot to show you, I'm sorry, my charms, I'm using light lifers, lightning scale lifers, so... And then here I'm using uh, attack rating small charms with one charm that's hit recovery. 
with uh, Annie and Torch. And the hit recovery is because I'm, I'm hitting a 86 hit recovery breakpoint on the sorcerers. So if I were to kind of like, you know, calculate it out, so I get 30 here, 54, right? 64, it's 84. And then I get 5. So that's 89. So that's how I'm breaking the 86. Um, some people may say like it's not necessary for PVM and all, but still like I'll be like kind of up there, you know, in grid of things and taking hits. Plus, you know, speed is like, it's not like 4 frames per second. So I still got to be careful. That's why, you know, I figure it's worth having that. And so with talents, um, so I max this out. Like I said, it synergizes with Holy Shock. And right now as I level, I put, I'm putting it to energy shield. And the gist of the build comes from here. So fire mastery, enchant, and warmth. So your mana region, you know, it's going to be nice. So you don't need like an inside mark. And, you know, enchant's going to boost your damage and you can boost your mercenary's damage. And for mercenary, inside, uh, yeah, holy shot. So, and also, um, I guess enchant is fire damage based. So I guess it would, it would help on enchant too, I will see. And I'm using random fort. And just uh, end it with Rail because this weapon base, even if I have increased attack speed draw, it's not gonna break any, it's not gonna hit any breakpoints. So, you know, I went with this kind of setup on this one. So, yeah, that should be the whole thing. And the Mercenary is a Holy Freeze Mercenary, too, which, you know, for my case, definitely provides me good utility. And, like, it's defensive and offensive. So let me go ahead and you know make a run. Okay, I'm gonna hit buff him, buff me. Did I get everything? Okay. So for me, like I have Berserk on my left, because that's kinda like how I do on my Barbarian. And so I, I treat this just like ooh, any kind of like melee character. I just right click on the ground and just walk around. Just erase things like I always say. So Right now I'm clicking, I'm right clicked on my mouse and I'm just, you know, just going around. So in a way, like, I don't see their life. I don't see anything, right? M rune, okay. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, seriously, this is like really just smooth way of playing melee class, in my opinion. I guess you don't have to if you don't want to. If you want to be a left clicker, that's fine too. But, <laughs> but yeah, anyways, yeah, this is... The way I play. So I have like t uh, teleport on the Z button, which would be my pinky, left hand pinky. And the X would be my static field. And C is my uh, zeal. So I just like, you know, control the three buttons with my you know, left hand and just, you know, just right click and just keep dragging around the whole screen. So, I, you know, this is like what was fun for me. But of course, you know, what's fun for me may not necessarily be fun for you. But anyways, yeah, please, you know, have your style. But this is something I would recommend. Because, you know, it's just nice and smooth. Just right click and don't worry about anything. You don't have to like make all these like crazy button clicks. You know, just save your mouse. <laughs> so anyways, oh yeah, this is the build as well. As you see, it kills really nicely. Like, I'm, I, I'm having the, you know, the dream effect proc, so the holy shock, you know, so that natural strength of dream is there. And add on top my melee. Ooh, wow, a mana burn, that's not good. So let me go ahead and kind of energy shield again. But yeah, it's because, yeah. Anyways, so it's really strong. Ooh, ring, ring, ring. It's really like strong. Just because of dream. And when you add on, you know, just my melee ability on top which I mean you would think you know, oh sorcerer's melee right yeah but you know that's where passion would kind of like fill that void and complete this build and it's really fun like and for me I think um, you know holy freeze I think is better because you can control the situation like and if it looks bad for you you could like just teleport out and since the mobs are just slowed and everything is slowed, right? Their attack speed and their reaction. So, you know, you kind of own the situation. That's the way I see. 
So it has very good AO, you know, AOE ability and it has really nice single target damage too. That's, I guess that's the really the good part. Like you're not just good at AOE and you know, kind of like Amazon, like one thing I find is shameful, like Boazon to be actual, like you know, it takes them forever to kill Bale. I know I have, I have few Boazons myself and I know how long it takes her. So like recently I swapped my mercenary weapon. Like I was like so fed up. I'm like, okay, you know what? It's going to be a Therrier's Toll, Reaper's Toll mercenary from now on. Because at least like he'll kill Bale faster by himself <laughs> than my Boazon, the Faith Boazon, you know, Faith like GMB balls on, you know, on a perfect base, taking like 10 minutes to kill Bale, having to pot constantly, go back to town. I mean, uh, so shameful. I don't, I don't know why it's like that. Like, I guess it's because the range attack, the calculation is different than melee or something, I would assume. There are a lot of penalties against uh, range damage from what I understand. Like, Gore Rider's uh, Crush and Blow effect. Um, my understanding is only like half of that will apply on a ranged weapon. So, and that's why, you know, I have never seen any balls on wearing gore. Never ever seen that. Everyone's like wearing either battle boots or tri res, you know, trifecta boots with, you know, run and hit recovery. So, yeah, it's a shame. But, anyways. For this build, uh, you know, Infinity helps with the, you know, the resistance, right? Conviction. And the lightning will cut through that. And also, you know, Conviction being, you know, one of the major, like, I guess, spells that can break lightning. Like, a lot of times, fire doesn't break. And no cold ever breaks. I seen it break once or twice. It was really, like, wow, I was surprised. But, like, for most of the time, cold will never break. So that's why lightning is the bomb. Then you know, in that sense, right? You wanna use you know, you wanna abuse that mechanic. So dream is another good complement to that situation. So anyways, that was the the cow. Let me just refill and then go Diablo and Bell real quick. Okay. Oh wow, and this, uh, I gotta kill these guys. <laughs> it's like, uh, such a, you know, oh shoot, let me pick that up, who knows, he could have abilities. Uh, only Cobra Strike? Oh, that's trash. Okay. And that's Flea Effect from my passion, which is like whatever's. <laughs> like, if it happens, it happens, if it doesn't, whatever's. It's really, it's really nice. It's fast enough, and you know, because of Dream, like by the time when I get to the mobs, like they had already taken some damage from the Holy Shot. Hence, you know, it kills my, it makes my killing much faster too. It's like I don't know, like this is kind of like Battle Mage that I imagined. Well, like not not I imagined, but I guess the closest thing to a Battle Mage that you could make, maybe. Like you're not meleeing right, and yet like there are like these spell effects, which happens to be AOE that you know does damage, which is nice, and I'm boosting that too. So you know a lot of those kind of things they all complement each other. So I have 30 plus what eight charms. That's 38, and the other plus skill, two, mm, three. Oh, not too many, huh? Because I'm melee. Only three. But still, that's what? 41 Holy Shot then? Around there, estimated, I guess you could expect. I could, ooh, maybe. But yeah, that's pretty high enough. So, I don't know exactly what that means in terms of damage. But, all I know is that mobs die pretty fast because of Dream's Holy Shock. Like, I wish, like, and I mentioned this in other videos. I wish you know somehow like this can be reflected somewhere on the sheet, like where the game would kind of analyze it and break it down to you. Like, is that like, okay? Like you have you know these effects because of your items, 
and as a result you know you have this level of holy shock you know that's effect on you so like yeah that would be nice you know uh, maybe I'm asking too much yeah <laughs> well these guys have the might effect or maybe thorn effect here but yeah it's nice ooh, ooh, I already opened that I didn't mean to but oh well let me kill him yeah, let me go open here okay so I don't have like mana concern per se because I have maxed out warmth oh wow so yeah primarily you go damage will go to my energy shield right that's what I was saying I don't worry too much but sometimes like when I see that it's like oh my god like did I get mana burned or something <laughs> well, you still gotta be kind of like you know pay attention mana burn is your worst enemy if you get mana burn like you gotta watch out because now it's gonna eat through your real health and yeah it could it could be dangerous so having enough you know leeching as you see like I have see I'm leeching life right now thanks to my ring and I do enough damage physical damage that you know justifies that kind of leeching so that's the thing too you know like sometimes like you have high damage but it's all elemental damage and you have like no physical damage so you don't leech almost at all you know okay oh wow that that kind of scared me a little <laughs> I almost wet my pants oh wow see my mercenary went yeah let me go ahead and get him back oh no sorry man come back so yeah this guy he can still be very dangerous okay Ooh, and these like flying things like what, what are they called stormcaster yeah you know you guys know what they do right like you get the red thing on you and like just keeps leeching life or no mana oh yeah, I hate that especially for build like mine something like this is like the worst thing <laughs> but again thankfully you know I have warmth so that helps with the regime but yeah you still gotta be careful you know just keep looking at your mana in life make sure you know it's okay if you don't feel comfortable you can pot but mm, I'm not gonna pot right now I should be fine okay here comes the apple. I'm not gonna steady for you, I'm just gonna take him on. Huh? Yeah, pretty fast. It's not that bad. It's a nice single target and you know, good AoE damage and comes with the whole shebang, right? I'm sorry, but um, I had a slight interruption. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and restart and go ahead and do bail let me buff up again okay so as you can see this is very you know nice build in many ways you take the advantage you take advantage of the you know dream set and also you can take advantage of the passion and really make yourself very viable too in many ways okay well, you know what I was like yeah I went a little further just you know looking at those models like yeah just made, made me want to kill them you know just because I saw that okay yeah my FCR isn't like on a high side at all like I, to be honest like there is no emphasis on FCR whatsoever I have like no FCR items but it's okay you know Ooh, I'm gonna kill that War sword. I think that's what well, that's uh, Bocados. The yeah, a useless set in this game for now. And let me just uh, now start heading to the bell. And one thing I really enjoy, like about this build, is the mobility and the I guess the mental notion that. Like it makes me like I feel like I'm a mage, you know, like a battle mage. And I think you know battle mage is a very, you know, like tempting name that kinda like in certain other games like it kinda exists but not quite. But 
like you know battle mage in Diablo 2 sense right and what does that mean you know uh, I think this is it right here Ooh, where we found it like this build is you know as you saw it's strong and so wow okay but it's okay don't you know don't fret like any group stuff like there's no concern because you have dream plus your mercenary is a holy freeze so you see like your mob yeah they all get slowed which gives me so much advantage and then once they're slowed i just you know yeah just whack at them <laughs> with my zeal and like in a way like one thing i really like is that this build has nothing that cannot kill that it cannot kill because i have berserk so it's kind of like barbarian right you know barbarians like because of berserk and just you know how strong they can be like there's nothing that you know they're afraid of like any boss pack mobs whatever like immune to physical you know doesn't matter like more like you can kill anything to everything in the worst case you know like you just use your berserk but you know if you look at some other classes for example you know like sometimes like based on your build or itemization like you just can't kill it so you gotta skip it like one thing that comes to my mind right now would be like my fairy droid like you know, I mean, he has Aetherius Toll, Aetherius Reaper's Toll, but um, at the same time, I mean, there have been times when certain mobs, you know, like the physical immunity just doesn't come off, even with Reaper's Toll. So, you know, there are cases where, you know, I have to just ignore it and just go on. And it's as rare as it may be, you know, it's like, like not being able to handle a certain situation it's not a pleasant thought because you know you want to be able to handle anything to everything so in that case you know this tune like there's no worry about that like this tune can handle anything to everything with so much efficiency AOE single target like no problem and I think I think this rumor passion is also non ladder rumor I kind of forgot for now I think I made this a non ladder <clears throat> so, you know, I think it's you know, really nice in that sense. And, you know, the room requirements are not that tough, too. Like, the only real thing that is tough is just land room. Everything else is pretty basic. Ooh, Thundermall. Ah, oh, no, it's not ethereal. Force socket, non ethereal. I don't know what you can make out of that. But I don't know if you guys saw there on the second wave, like, I kind of almost like did nothing. But still, you know. Like it killed well because my dream is taking over, right? So in that sense, you know, again, you know, it's very powerful, very um, you know, useful, and I can teleport. Oh wow, man of him. But fret not. I lost my, you know, lost my shield, but you know, just rebuff. But I guess you still gotta pay attention, you know, why? <laughs> you gotta be careful. Ooh, you know what? Let me. Let me have my mercenary with me. Okay, yeah, wait, yeah. The last wave is always kind of scary, doesn't matter what. Okay. okay let me make sure. Okay, let's see how fast Bale can be. I'm berserking right now. Yeah, oh, wow, wow, wow. But yeah, maybe I should have used Zeal. You know, here, let me try Zeal. Oh, wow, Zeal is much faster. Huh. Zeal is 79% chance to hit, but maybe because he hits five times in a row. Yeah, with Zeal, like, you know, Bale went down like nothing. But with Berserk, it was kind of tough. But, anyways, um, yeah. That was the overall build, that was the overall you know, capability. And again, you know, it's based off of Dream. So, you know, Dream is just, you know, really nice, versatile, like room work that you can do a lot of different things with. But yeah, um, this is just another one of those variations. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much, and have a good one.